Hi everybody, Phil here bringing you another video from my DIY channel. Today I'm going to show you the installation of new LED lights that I got for the trunk hatch of my RAV4 Prime. Toyota likes to call that hatch the back door. Anyway, the existing light in that cargo space is so dim that when it's dark at night you can hardly see anything. So I went online and I found these lights on Amazon and they fit right into the access panels that are on that back door. I've put a link to these lights on Amazon down below in the description section if you're interested. I had some technical difficulty with this video because the memory chip that I had in my action cam for this one was apparently not fast enough to keep up with the video speed and and consequently I lost a little more than half the footage and I've managed to piece together what I had left and I think it tells a good story about the installation process. If you see something or rather if you don't see something that you had hoped to see in this process just shoot me a comment down below in the comment section and I'll respond. And don't forget if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks and let's get started. Okay, so here are the parts for my new cargo trunk area lights. I've got the two LED panels that are going to fit right into the spot on the trunk lid. And then it comes with the wiring. This is the power harness that's going to plug into the existing light there. And then this big bundle is going to be the wiring that takes it, I guess, from there, distributing it out to the spot where the light's going to go. So the first step is to open this light, and to do that, there we go. I'm trying to be gentle so as to not scratch or mar this brand new finish. Okay, so that's there. I need to fish the power cable from here down to the where the light is. I could use a typical uh, electrician's fish tape. Or I saw online somebody using a uh, USB cable of all things, but I'm not sure I want to try that. I think I will try this. I think this is a 16 gauge solid electrical wire. Uh, I think I'll try this one. It might be a little bit more flexible than the stiffer uh, steel fish tape. So I got it through. I did was I fed the wire up from there and pushed it up through here and I was able to grab it and so I've got the power wire ran leaving just enough here to plug into the light and stuff into the cavity and it's now coming out of this side. Now I'm going to have to fish it through this tube and into here. So now when I do that, I have to take this panel out. So I'll do that next. In order to take this molding piece off, it's real simple. Just pop it off, starting in the corner here. So pull and comes off. There are four of these tabs and taking this side piece off is also just as simple. I you just pull on it a little bit and it just comes off just like that. Okay so what I've done was I wire tied the new LED light to an existing light cable so that it stays fairly fixed. And then it's going to get run down this way and across and then the other one will go up to there. So left side wire is there and I'm about to put the trim piece back on there and then I will plug that guy in and we're almost there. And here's the wire that runs to that light. This one is held on with just two clips 
and it hooks into up here and these two clips go it's like they go right there these two spots so these go back that way pop pop the wires that go to each of the uh, lights into the harness the power line that is currently going through the rubber tube and down into here and then the wires travel this way all the way down to where the original light is so it's going to go like so one two three four that's it so i've finished my led light kit install in the uh, trunk lid of the RAV4 Prime SE. Everything went in as expected. It was a little bit of a challenge running the wire from here up to where the trunk lid gets fed the wiring. And of course through this tubing. So everything is watertight and it looks good. So the lights are on. Closing, and once it's fully latched shut, lights go out. So that installation was fairly straightforward. It wasn't very complicated at all. The hardest part for me was fishing that power cable up from the side light where the existing light is, up through the uh, upper panel and over to the, the top center where the uh, wire has to go in through that rubber tube into the, the trunk hatch. The steel electrician's fishing tape proved to not work at all for me. I think a fiberglass one might work because um, it'll have more flex in it. Um, what ended up working for me was that solid electrical wire, uh, which I fed from the side light hole and up towards the, uh, the opening where the uh, grommets are. I tried it going from top to bottom, but I just couldn't get it to fish down and, and then make the bend to go down. Um, but going up seemed to work better. But aside from that, everything else was very straightforward. The lights fit perfectly into the openings and everything worked the first time. As for the uh, trim panels, you just gently pull on them and they'll just all pop out. And when you're done, you, they just pop back into place. Um, it's really a very simple project. All in all, I'm very happy with these lights. Um, I'm glad that I got them. They're just bright enough, but not too bright such that it, it, it's not gonna blind you when it's pitch dark outside. Um, and it gives plenty of light. It illuminates it kind of like floodlights into that cargo area. So it, it's a really good uh, set of lights. I'm really happy about them. Anyway, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.